Hello YouTubers, Joe and Paul here at just before 5 in the afternoon Eastern Time on Saturday, November 15th, 2014, Eastern Time. Now apparently, Paul's got some news about the hotel. They're going to start working on it Monday. Well, good. Is that good? Oh, yeah. Well, get it over with, anyway. Right. I mean, they're going to do a hell of a lot of crap. Well, they're going to tear tear the place up well, pretty much, aren't they? Yeah. For all intents and purposes. I mean, like, everywhere that the food is served at, put out so the guests can get their own stuff. Uh, 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 uh. All that's going to be replaced, and there's tile, tile on the wall around the counters in there and stuff. Uh, uh. That's going to be ripped off and replaced. All this light cream slate tile stuff is going to get ripped up. Oh, are they? Oh. What are they going to do with some of those tile things? I don't know. Well, I, just, I was just thinking maybe, you know, it wouldn't hurt to have like a supply of that tile just sort of lying around outside in case we wanted to use it for something. You know, in case an idea struck us. Well, I don't know how big it chucks how they're going to take it out. Well, that's true. No, 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 I'm not. Obviously, I'm not. I'm not making a concrete proposal. <laughs> There's no pun intended on that. But uh, just, you know, just, you know, just sort of looking for the main chance. Well, I'm sure you would be, yeah. too. I mean, I think your mind and mine works along those lines about that kind of stuff pretty, pretty much not to say bad. <laughs> I mean, they're going to be ripping the wallpaper down. Well, I don't give a fuck about wallpaper. Screw wallpaper. What a, use, what a useless thing wallpaper put is. Put it up siding. You know what I... Ripping out... I mean... Siding? Not siding. Um, Go say. Yeah. They're going to panel the posts that are not... Oh, this is so idiotic. Plain white paint. Oh, now. it's just so idiotic. You know, uh, one of the things that always. Now, I. Oh, no, don't. I mean, there's going to be a lot of dark wood in there. <laughs> now, now, I don't want my UK subscribers to take offense at this. But when I've traveled over to the UK and stayed in bed and breakfasts, and that's. That's a very wonderful institution that we really do not have over here in the United States. Although I guess now, with we Air, have a few. well, with Airbnb and then you know, and then you have sort of these trendy bed and breakfasty types like honeymoon type spots. Uh, but that's not what we're really we're not talking about that because in the United Kingdom you drive around and you says bed and breakfast and you go in and you say yeah, I'd like to stay the night and they show you the they always show you the room. That's always interesting. They always show you the rooms if 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 you know, as if like, oh, we've been driving around all day and we need a place to stay and if we don't like the room we're gonna leave. Give me a break. I mean why do they even bother? Well that's it's kind of them to do that. And uh I had started down the road to make a point here, Paul. We were talking about wallpaper. Oh, 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 well, and then when you get, and then when you get up in one of these rooms, you see this, <clears throat> this god awful decor. Listen, I don't care about decor, as you all know. I mean, if anybody's ever seen this place knows I don't care about your decor, but. You also know I don't have a single piece of wallpaper in this house. Nor will there ever be. Wait, wallpaper is such a useless, a useless, a useless decorative tool. 
I'm almost saying like I'm assigning a moral value to it, aren't I? Oh, my grandmother's place had wallpaper. My you know, well, I shouldn't say my mother's house. It was my dad's house. But, you know, there was this, this whole series of wallpaper selections in the house over the years. Oh, you know, it's just awful. What a, they kept changing it? Yeah, well, my dad finally drew the line on that after about the third round. Long about the time I got to be about 11. But, uh, you know, and after that it was just painted walls. And that's fine. I, I don't, I like painted walls. Wallpaper. Give me a break. What a waste of time and money. Well, you're... I don't recall any seeing any wallpaper in your house. Nope. There you... Well, good. See? I mean, I mean, I knew there was... I mean, you're... You know, I mean, your family's basically very sensible. You know? Yeah, it is. And in the four houses, there's no wallpaper. Well, good. Excellent. No, I don't have any use for wallpaper. Now, in regards to what a fellow I subscribe to, and I think he subscribes to me, we were going back and forth a bit today about he was talking about you know this 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 growing a beard for November thing have you heard about that for, oh just for the hell of hell oh I guess it's to you know raise awareness for men's problems or something I mean, it's sort of like the, you know, the... the uh, uh, a lot the, of people do know that because it's deer hunting season. Well, and, and it's cold, right. But but I guess apparently there's... Until they get a deer. There's some sort of politically correct thing about, uh, you know, very much like, uh, you know, the pink ribbons here and the pink ribbons there on the various breast cancer things. You know, this is apparently is like to raise awareness of men's prostate cancer and men's problems in general. And, uh, you know, it's like grow a beard for November or no shave November or some damn thing. Have you heard of that? No. Well, I hadn't really. I had sort of heard it mentioned obliquely by uh, one of the house we say trendier guys at church. who's also an attorney, but since he shaves all the hair off of his head, I find it odd that he might be thinking about growing, beer. growing the hair on his face. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> well, heck, he's halfway through the month. Has he started? No, 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 no. I, I, think, he's, I, think, he's, I think he's got a case actively ongoing and he doesn't want to appear before the judge looking like a biker or a unshaven a, dude a derelict or whatever yeah. <laughs> well I uh, uh, this fellow one day uh, what do you think about beards I, I, I told him about the fact that I will generally start growing a beard you know just because of the cold weather, you know. And uh, then when, when the small animal effect outweighs the cold weather effect, I'll shave it off. Uh, I People tell me I've looked good in it, but I, you know, I, I myself would just soon not have it on me, but... Uh, you look like Martin Mull. Yeah, well, Martin Alden looked bad. I mean, but it, you know, it's like it's like okay, you know, you know, stay warm, you know. You know, electricity's expensive, you know, guys. You know, I mean, I, you know, if growing a little hair will save me some money, you know. I mean, that's 
that's, I don't think that's an unreasonable decision. <laughs> well, so anyway, so I, in my comment, I, I said, um, I explained about that, and I said, uh, I, I just don't like the beards that look like uh, uh, these 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 vulva beards. We used to call them goatees. Guys. Well, well, there's goatees, and then there's vulva beards, and uh, but you know, a vulva beard, yeah, it's a vulva beard. It looks makes you look like it makes you look like. It makes your face look like it's a woman's pussy. Yes, I'm sorry, that's the P word. It makes your face look like a woman's pussy. Now, if that's the image one wishes to project, more power to you. I'm all for individual choice and freedom. I mean, I would hope anybody that's ever listened to me and watched any of my videos knows that I'm... I'm into individual choice and freedom. I am. I really am. So, if a person wants to look like that, go for it. In fact, uh, Paul's nephew and my sort of honorary nephew uh, has one of these very extravagant things. It makes it all. He make it makes him almost look like a serial killer. So it makes him look. Like, it makes him look like a psychopath in any case. Uh, uh, it makes him look like some of the people he was chasing around over there and how shall we say the desert yes there we go and uh, his wife his wife finally warned me off about commenting on that so I I shut up on that so and I think in this case then maybe I'll duly shut up on that as well <laughs> well, it's, it's just a matter of aesthetics, you know. It's just aesthetics. It's, it's not a moral issue. It's not an ethical issue. <laughs> well, we started off talking about... Well, we're talking about, about my hotel. Yeah, we're talking about hotel floor. floor. Well, you know, we, you know, we always go far afield here on the Joe Kersey channel sometimes. Ripping out all the stone floor, putting it in hardwood flooring, <laughs> replacing all the baseboards and all the posts in the in the building. I mean, they're going to be covered with paneling, the color of the double closet doors over here. Yes. And is me. Bring it. One hallway is going from half carpet, half top, half slate floor. It's going to be all hardwood floor, all the way down and out the back door. I bet yeah, it's giving me more space to mop. When you get clean. yeah, but you know when you get those teenage guys in there, these sports teams, they're going to be they're going to be sliding around on that <coughs> down there on their side. They're going to be out there slide. I don't know. Maybe, maybe maybe teenage guys don't do that in their socks anymore. But I remember, I remember we do that in our socks. Oh, we would fly across <laughs> parents' house. My dad hated carpet. Well, I'm talking about like a, you know the, the the few times you got unleashed in the hotel. <laughs> Oh shit, they'll have soccer games down in the lobby. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about soccer with. games, I'm talking about just sock sliding. You know, like, like, like skateboarding in your sock. Yeah. Without a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> Got that too. Sometimes you got a flying soccer ball coming through the air at your head. You got to admit though that there's a certain amount of secondary gain to that job for you, with the visuals that you undoubtedly have. 
Hey, you've got a phone you can take a picture. Well, no, that would be that that would get you fired immediately. No, you wouldn't do that. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. You'd be in the Daily Mail the next day. I, I mean, you. I mean, you'd I be in the Daily Mail the next day. I keep it. I keep my camera in my. No, I understand. No, you'd be in the Daily Mail the next day. I mean, that's that's sort of like 90% of what the Daily Mail publishes. Now, admittedly, some of it's a lot of fun. I mean, you get some great headlines out of that. Yeah. I wouldn't mind the headlines, but I wouldn't mind the time. No. Well, plus, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know all right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, you're not you photograph from grandkids let them show up on your freaking YouTube channel. Well, not, not in the bathtub, certainly. I have to admit, I, I, well, I don't think that should be illegal. I think it's just sort of in bad taste. So anyway, starting Monday, they're going to start tearing the whole first floor of my place apart. Well, I hope that. Can be, you know, coordinated. We're talking about well. the food serving area, the hallways. We're talking the lobby, front desk. Guys, like the food service area is going to be in the meeting room. I mean, the guests will have to go over to the meeting room, get what they want for breakfast. Then they can come back to the old dining room and eat it while they're ripping the food serving service area apart. <coughs> well then... <laughs> These business people are survivors, they'll figure it out. They're going to rip apart the and if, dining. And if they're on the company dying, they don't give a hell. They don't give a hell anyway. Well, when they get the food service area done, <laughs> serving area done, then the dining room is going to get hit. So the, pe the guests will go into the food serving area and get their breakfast. Because then we're going to use the bagel room for the dining room instead of meeting room. The bagel room? The meeting room. I know, but you said, but earlier you, you just, just immediately you said bagel room. Is there such thing as a bagel room? I am. Um, but wouldn't that be a great idea to have like a bagel room? I'm sorry, I don't mean I I really don't mean to do this to you. But you know, I can't help it. Well yeah, I could, but I don't. Well, anyway. <laughs> Go on, I'm the sorry. Guest, the guests will be allowed <laughs> into the new food serving area to get their food, but then the meeting slash banquet room is going to be used. Oh, banquet room! Oh, banquet room! Banquet for room. the dining room. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, we're not scheduling any kind of meetings. Well, you can if you're in a place until torn this up. Until crap is done. Well, how long are they planning on doing this for? Said he ending the <laughs> sentence in a preposition. Well, it's the whole first floor of the hotel going to take a bit. Well, I imagine that. I mean, you know, look, look how long it took to build that, that new tower there that they knocked the, 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 the assholes knocked down over the airplane. It's going to take a well, that's just good a, month, month and a half. Well, look how, much it, how long it took me to piss and moan about this computer thing. These guys plan on working around the clock. Around the clock? Right. They were talking about how they were going to rip out 
all that sleep floor. Are now are the, are the uh, restaurants and, and the fast food joints around the clock, open around the clock out there? Most of them are. Well, then they're all set. They're good to go. I mean, you know, you can go to Mickey D's. And well, I, I lose I lose that outfit, except for uh, it's sausage and muffin with egg. All these people come down and eat breakfast, and they walk out the front door to well, go and buy more food at, and, a, and, at a junk food shop, and bring and, back and go eat again and, in the room. And KFC. KFC's <laughs> good. KFC's good. And, of course, Pizza Hut. Pizza is good. Have you seen a KFC since? I've not been into a KFC since I, uh, we stopped at one of those joints, or I stopped at one of those joints in Virginia on the way home from uh, North Carolina. Well, and of I course, haven't seen them since the Raising Cane Chickens crap started. Well, no, their food's good. Yeah, I know. But as I, as, as I, long as you get the original stuff, not not the not the later iterations right. yeah the original recipe yeah the original recipe and then and and, and, not the extra crisp well you know I mean, the, that really sucks well on the sides of the sides i mean that's just you know just sides you know i mean you can buy a bag of you know green beans and tater tots just as easy as you know buying them from yeah you can know. buy Stovetop stuffing at the grocery store. Well, that's what it amounts to. No. no, 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 no. So I mean, so basically, you're buying, the you're buying, you're buying KFC for their 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 hard uh, pressure cooked special spice chicken, which is original recipe, which is extremely good, by the way, folks, wherever you live in the world. Steve B. Steve B. will agree with me on this one. I know <laughs> for that. I know he'll. I know he'll agree with me on that. Won't you, Steve B. <laughs> oh. Wherever you may be now, he's traveling around. He's in Australia now, but hell, he may be leaving Australia. Who knows where he's going? <laughs> he's been there for like a month on the holiday. Well, he's or he's he's it's a whole ten month thing for him, so he's you know. I hope he doesn't get too beguiled on the west coast of the United States. Oh, they come in here sometimes. Oh, they're 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 he may. He may show up here for all we know. Who knows? <laughs> well, that'd be great. Get on the line and invite him over. Well, I've, well, I've, like I've said he's welcome. But. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, you know, I, you know, I sleep in the chemo chair, I'll sleep on the floor. So, you know, it's like, yeah, it's like. Hey, I'll get him a room at the end. <laughs> Well, that's right. You could get. Uh, we could do the uh, Hampton Inn. Hey, we get some Hampton Inn provisions for you. <laughs> Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. It wouldn't. Yeah. No. Good business all around. I mean, you know, like the kids come up from Tennessee, I can get them a full discount. Oh yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Family right. discount. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hear that, Steve B? Wherever you are, well, you're you're sort of in the quasi-Australia area right now, but I have a feeling you you might be on the move. <laughs> For that matter, hear that, the other folks in Australia? <laughs> Well, we're up to 24 minutes. Anything else you want to say? No, that's pretty much it. I think we covered it. <laughs> this is Saturday. Right. Oh, it's Saturday. Oh, we can watch Hyacinth and uh, things tonight. Right, and then tomorrow night's the marathon and... 
Oh, the uh, the he is a night. The uh, he is a night marathon, and then uh, and then there was there was and then there's something else at the end coming up to. Uh, right at the end of it, there's. Oh 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 the. Uh, the launching of the various guys, the space station, and the docking. Well, sending new people yeah, so if we stay awake tomorrow on the uh, we can uh, we can watch these uh, guys launch and dock at the space station. There we go. Which is far more interesting than some something bouncing around a rock on a comet, uh, you know, because because the stuff even after the heat of the night. Well, during, yeah, no, no, they're no, they're no, they're they're at the end of the heat night, so we can watch heat night and then watch. There. Yeah, so uh, we'll get there at the end of the. Oh heat yeah, we night. don't we don't have to we don't have to uh, 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 quell our desires for anything. We can we can satisfy them all. Uh, the uh, No, no, and this is like real, real life and death stuff, not some sort of thing here with a uh, 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 propane yeah. tank up your butt. Yeah, so I, you know, we're getting ready to die here now, so we're going to say bye bye, YouTubers. Bye bye, YouTubers. Bye.